Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Gita Marie and today's video is a vlog. I love filming these videos and showing you guys what life with zero waste, sustainability, like just trying, just being out here trying actually looks like. It can look in a million different ways and I'm just trying to contribute to that conversation. We're not being perfect, we're not setting super high standards for ourselves, we are just trying to live better. Okay, but before I start the video, this video is sponsored. Da, 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 da. This video is sponsored by Wild. Wild is a reoccurring partner of mine and for good reason. They're known for their plastic-free, aluminium-free and paraben-free deodorant, but Wild is branching out and also offers shower gels and shampoos, all with the same qualities which we do love to see. One of the things that really sets Wild apart from other brands is the fact that they've incorporated this refill system that is incredibly functional. The refill containers are completely home compostable and the solid containers can be used for years and years and years. And yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. Of the new scents available, the pink grapefruit and lime is definitely my favorite. I am already in love. Wild has been a staple in my beauty and self-care routine for years, both when I'm traveling as well as when I'm home. And you'll also see that in this video. So thank you so much to Wild for sponsoring this video. You can use my discount code to get 20% off everything at Wild. Now let's get into the video. I'm getting some friends over for dinner tonight and I just went out for a quick shop. Basically every place in Aalborg is closed because of Easter. So there was one shop open, it was complete chaos in there and I didn't get everything that I wanted because so much stuff was sold out. But anyway, I want to show you what I bought for dinner tonight. Because I low-key feel like this sums up trying to be zero waste. This is what I'll be using to make dinner tonight. So I'm thinking some type of pasta ragu thing. The pasta was already in my pantry. So I got canned tomatoes, then I got some minced plant-based meat, which is great for this type of dish. I got spinach, I got tomato paste, I got a tomato, I got garlic, onion, lemon, etc. Some in packaging, some without packaging. You know, like, we're trying. The only thing I'm kind of annoyed about is that I could only get these tomatoes. I would prefer some that were organic. We couldn't get that. So here, here we go. I also, I also just quickly went foraging for ramson or wild garlic and look all this, oh my god, I am going to use it for a recipe that's coming up soon for a collaboration, but I am so excited about it. So we're gonna prep everything, we're gonna preserve it because I'm going to Brussels tomorrow with the EU, very exciting. So I'm thinking we're gonna freeze some, we're gonna pesto some, we're gonna make some into oil and we're gonna dehydrate some. Let's go queens! Okay, I'll wait until the stairs are done because I'm gonna fall on my ass. It's not the vibe. We are in Brussels, and by we, I mean me and Sam. The guy that you liked so much from the thrift vlog. The, the guy, guy you seem to like high. more than me, to be honest. It was great. Well. <laughs> anyway, we're in Brussels for an EU transportation conference, which is very exciting. I'll be covering that on Instagram, but we need a waffle. And I know specifically there's a place here in Brussels that makes vegan waffles. So we're gonna go and get those. We got our waffles with chocolate and I'm so excited to eat this. I had this the first time I was in Brussels ever and I'm so excited to try it again. Every seat is wet, so we're just gonna sit here. Mm. Now it's raining. It's part of the experience. Yeah. You're not happy. Stop complaining. I'm not complaining. Our first event was about waterways and water transportation, freight and cargo ships using carbon neutral fuels. They also talked a lot about hydrogen. And generally I have thoughts. There are really good concepts and technologies within that field, but still in the EU, 95% of all hydrogen fuel is based on fossil fuels, comes from fossil fuels. So, so it's really important that we don't hype this up to be free of fossil fuels because it's derived from fossil fuels in the vast majority of cases. You can do it without, some people do. It's really nice and whenever that happens, I'm really stoked about it. Anyway, that was everything for today. Tomorrow we're going out to the airport and I don't know what's gonna happen, but interested and that's the best combination. Anyway, a quick practical shout out. So usually you get like these small batches so you can gain access to the areas that you need. I always save these because they usually come with a little string and that's based on polyester and plastic and I don't wanna throw it away. It's non-recyclable. This is made from paper and not just any paper, it's made from seed paper. Paper. So I can save and reuse the clasp and save my little badge, but I can plant this out if I want to. Really, really like that because this is one of those types of conference related trash that we see so much of. And even conferences about sustainability often are not very mindful of their own merch and the stuff that they use in-house. Anyway, I just changed into another outfit. Me and Sean are gonna go out 
for a drink and a walk around the city tomorrow is going to be packed. But before we do so, I would like to show you the products that I'm traveling with because whenever I travel and with whatever method I travel, I want to travel light and carry as little with me as possible. It's like my number one thing. So I wanna show you what I travel with. One second. Okay, so I brought all my stuff out here because there's ventilation going in the bathroom. You can't really turn it off. And the audio in there is just not gonna be good. I wanna show you what I brought with me. So I have some of my jewelry in here. In hotel rooms, you usually get like some kind of mug or jar, usually reusable, which is nice. I keep all my jewelry in it typically, so I don't accidentally push them into the sink and kind get them out. Not a sustainability tip, but just a general don't lose your stuff kind of tip. I have this little container for my glasses and I also keep jewelry in here so it doesn't just tumble around everywhere. I bring the makeup with me that I use every day. And I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna insert some clips so you know what kind of makeup that is, but I have videos, lists, all kinds of stuff in, about makeup. There should be no lack of content about that. But this is my concealer. I take this, use your things until they are no more, quite literally. It used to look like this. Not anymore though. I don't know if you can hear there's an ambulance somewhere, but that's just a vibe. I am literally looking right now at Brussels Central Station, so we are in the middle of the city. Then I have my tooth tablets. I did a video about these and how they're not actually as sustainable as they claim to be, or at least they are not more sustainable, or at least a lot more sustainable than conventional products, but so much more easy to travel with. And I have a huge stash, so I'm just gonna keep using them. Then I have this little face cream. I don't like to carry big containers with me when I travel. And it's from Ghost circular i love their entire business model they're amazing i'm gonna model for them next week which i'm so excited about anyway mm, it smells really really good and they have just an amazing set of values when it comes to sourcing ingredients they use a lot of waste products i don't know this brand at all i got this at a conference last year it's a little like roll-on perfume really really love it it is from hmm nordic eco products i'm like I am. I don't know them, but I really like this scent and I love the little container, so I always keep this in my bag. Um, I also have one of my other little perfumes. It comes in this. It doesn't come in this, but I have this and I can transfer my perfume from one thing to one thing. I did a video about the impact of perfume recently and there's also a list of recommended perfumes that are doing things slightly better than conventional brands. Anyway, there are good perfume brands to be found for sure. Banged up as all shit. This is also from a conference. It is from a brand called Yope. Hello, Yopi. I don't know, but they make an amazing hand cream. And if you can make out the packaging from the way I've treated it, I just always carry this in my bag. It's perfect, goes with me. And then I have my little wild deodorant. I love this scent. It's perfect, it's the Valentine's Day, but it's very, very nice. And I love that this packaging is slightly smaller than their previous packaging. Love this. It's also engraved and I love the heart. These are the things that I brought. Anyway, isn't the bathroom so cool? I love it. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. I'm done. I, I, mm. Okay. In other news, I'm traveling with my stasher bag because I keep all my beauty products in here and it's also really good for leftovers. So now it's storing one single samosa that I couldn't finish. Okay, so never mind. I also got the classic polyester string with my badge, but one of them was good. Good morning, everybody. I have something to show you in the bathroom. It's not what you think. I haven't seen this often, but it's a laundry string and, uh, and you can hang it up in the shower, which means that you can wash your clothes in the sink and hang it to dry. I love this, I love this. So I wore this the day I arrived and it's pretty stinky from being in uh, public transportation for a vast period of time. It's half past six and I need to get ready. Then we went for a press tour at Brussels airport. I know the aviation industry is innovating and doing something, but I remain a skeptic. The panel we saw here didn't include an environmentalist perspective, just the CEO of the airport talking about sustainability and Loki hating on trains without getting challenged on it, which was awkward to say the least. We also saw the prime minister of Belgium give a talk. Overall, this day gave me tons of ideas for new videos and articles, and I got to learn something about what's happening in this sector, but I will remain to take everything with a grain of salt. We are a little bit fancier than we're used to being. Just ever so slightly. This is a palace. Marble yeah. everywhere. And we're here for a cycling declaration. We have our, we went through security and got some very official looking documents so we can get in. I'm also an influencer now. Yeah, stay tuned for Cern's channel. I know you want to. Dropping it. soon. I finished my dish with the wild garlic. Check this out.
dish using ramson or wild garlic is starting to take shape and I have some different ways of using the wild garlic here. So I have a powder which is just dehydrated ramson leaves ground up into powder. Then I have the oil, I already have a recipe for that on my Instagram and on TikTok and YouTube shorts. Very, very, very lovely oil and it's so dark and green, it's perfect. And with the leftovers, the solid from the oil, I also have a pesto that I've used quite a lot of. So we're really branching out in terms of how many ways you can actually use wild garlic. But there's so many other things that you can do with wild garlic. I love to do powders, oils and pestos that just let me know down below in the comments if you have ever foraged wild garlic or if you have any great ways of using it. I'm all yes. One thing that I wanted to comment here and include in this video as well, I think the vast majority of the more like loose vlogs that I've done recently has included both sustainability, but you know, also mental health, also just like what's happening. So I recently got a comment on one of my videos and I think it went something like this. I don't know if anyone has told you, but you have lines on your forehead, like you have wrinkles on your forehead. I just thought I wanted to let you know. I was baffled by this. First of all, like I know I have an expressive face, like I do a lot of this stuff all the time. And I wasn't upset by this comment, I think that's very important to get out of the way. I wasn't angry or embarrassed or anything of the sort. Most of all, I was just really puzzled because I know what my face looks like, so the I just thought I wanted to let you know was very, it was very weird and misplaced. And second of all, I just don't buy into the idea that lines, wrinkles, grey hair, any of the sort, are bad features, are ugly features, are features that we should hide or mask in any way. It's a human premise that that's what our faces look like. And it made me think about, in a recent video where I talked about things I won't be buying or partaking in anytime soon, I talked about Botox. And I think I might need to do an entire video on that. That could be really fun also from a sustainability perspective. But I have no intention of ever getting any Botox to cover up my age. I'm a 30 year old woman, I am too tired. The planet is burning, we don't have time to care about stupid shit like that. When it's on other people, like you can obsess over your own wrinkles and lines all you want, I, that's none of my business. I think we should dissect and, and like reflect upon why we see these things as bad features, but it's not my business. But I find it so peculiar that we are apparently so used to people covering up lines or wrinkles and getting Botox, also from a very, very early age, that the idea of just seeing someone where the lines are showing makes you react in a way that just go, I need to tell her because like that's super embarrassing. I don't think like this is embarrassing. This is the testimony to the fact that I'm indeed uh, alive. I'm fed up with this stuff. Environmental fucking advocates have more wrinkles than anyone I know because like, <laughs> <laughs> and I have this feeling that that comment was made by a young member of my audience and it just really saddens me that we are holding ourselves to this type of standard that we can't age and also I'm just gonna say something bold now but women are uphold to a very different standard when it comes to aging than men and I don't think I would have gotten any of these comments if I was a dude I would just be someone's daddy I think we need to relax. I think that that's the point of this. I think just we need to relax about this stuff. And also, I want to partake in normalizing the fact that that's, not, that's just life, baby, and you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it. You have other real issues, real personal, real world issues to worry about. This is not one of them, girl. Use your time better. Use your time better. Anyway, we need to think more kindly about the idea of aging and not be so scared of it because honestly, it's a privilege. Anyway, moving on. I've spent all afternoon looking like this. I've been so comfortable, it's just, and I don't wanna go out. But I have my friend's birthday party and the theme is disco cowboy. Love the theme. So we're gonna get ready. I wanna go out for that. For sure, yeah. So, we'll start off with a shower. A not everything shower because I don't want to do my hair and I already have makeup on, but a body shower. We need this. So we're gonna use my shower gels. I have been, I don't want to sound weird, okay. Um, But I have been opening these up occasionally and just smelling them. This smells like the hotel lobby of the hotel I was in when I was on vacation with my family when I was 10. 
how scent can sort of activate memories is wild. Eh. That wasn't even on purpose, I promise. It has like a vague smell of an ice cream shop, but in a good way. I don't know. I just, I think it's fun how you can activate memories with scent. I don't like them being like too overwhelming and overpowering. I react physically when someone... <laughs> someone is wearing too much perfume. Also, your girl is on the street currently because I am just working with some awesome companies and I am very grateful for that. Let's have a pampering, pampering shower. We will get ready. I don't know what to wear yet and it has to be disco cowboy. And the thing is, I don't want to go out and buy anything new. It's also in two hours, so you know, I don't have time for that anyway. But the whole idea with sustainable fashion is using what you already have so we will see if we can find something in my closet that we can use for this theme okay but first i want to take a shower <laughs> okay so i have three options that i think might work but they're very different vibes so we're just gonna brainstorm this first of all i have this dress it's a little secondhand number i also showed it in a recent video love this but it's corduroy so i feel like it could fit into the cowboy disco vibe leaning more towards the cowboy but i still feel like this could be fun i don't have a lot of very disco-y clothes but i do have this dress sticking with the brown but i just have a lot of brown clothes leave me alone um but it does have glitter it's a vintage little dress from the 90s and it's like nice little slip on like you could pair it with some boots i don't know maybe my denim okay the home cropped i think i've had this for more than 10 years home cropped denim jacket it says old man river on the back like you could do like a disco dress and the last thing that i have basically just a boiler suit at this point i love this i got this at a thrift shop in london it's just a huge jumpsuit in denim and it's very comfortable whereas the dress is a little bit more tight fitted so this is very comfortable i think we're gonna try the comfortable thing on first and then see what happens I swear, ultimate levels of comfort. Just gonna do a little bit of cinching though. Just um, double denim. It's very much giving, I'm wearing three types of denim, how much better can I look? I think this might be too much, but we'll definitely bring it. I feel like the jumpsuit is both very cowboy and disco because the jumpsuit is very, but we need jewelry. And you know, we might as well go all out. So I'm gonna grab some gold, not actual gold, so like I'll calm down. At best this is brass. This one, and this is my grandmother's from the 70s. Are we losing track of the theme? Maybe, maybe. I know what I gotta do. I have to do braids. Now I'm really happy that I didn't wash my hair because, ooh, oh it's just so, why is my hair so good today? But this is something, so. Yes, okay. So how are we gonna do this? Okay, I'm into it. A little bit, we need to go a little bit over the top. So like, here we go, earrings and, excuse me, but I feel like this works. <gasps> and, stay tuned. Excuse me, but these were made for this outfit. And I also have just the jacket to wear. Just wearing a whole ass synthetic cow. This jacket is also a secondhand find and I wear this unironically all the time. I love it. The sound? Not so much. I feel like I can work the theme on this. We got it. And that will have to be everything for this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have an amazing day and take really good care of yourselves. Until next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching this video and also a special thank you to my Patreon supporters. You guys help me create green zero waste contents and I love you guys. You can find the links to my social media accounts down below and the link to my Patreon on this screen. Bye.